success family, it's me, your man Festus Samoya with Ladder Success. Uh, just wanted to do a new video uh, for YouTube. It's now 2018 and uh, at the end of last year I got a whole bunch of requests for, you know, just people talking about how to make it through the struggle that I went through in life. And so just a real quick video on that um, and it's actually going to be a series. For those who don't know, um, uh, when I was in high school, as a freshman in high school, my mom passed away. When I was a sophomore, going into my junior year in high school, my dad passed away. And um, I come from a family, with, there were six of us, my mom, my dad, uh, my older brother, two younger sisters. And so, uh, you know, a lot of people ask me the question about, well, how did you make it? What did you do to survive? All those different kind of things. And so um, and that's really one of the major things, that whole situation. Uh, that changed uh, my perspective on like life and living and values and what's important. And so um, that has, has kind of been a defining thing for me. And so I just kind of wanted to, to talk about that a little bit because um, last year I, I uh, met a young man. His mom died in Hurricane Harvey here in Houston and he was getting ready to graduate high school. And I met another young lady from California. Uh, her mom died too. Uh, that year and she was in her sophomore year I believe in high school and so you know there's a lot of people out there who have gone through similar situations to me or are going through similar situ situations to me and so this is kind of for you guys um, and let me go back a little bit my parents came from Nigeria in the 80s and so they were immigrants and I was born here as a first generation American born here in Houston born and raised and uh, you know we didn't have much but we had each other kind of situation you know, life was good. It had its hard parts, but we were together. And that's what mattered the most. Fast forward a little bit. My dad got into some legal trouble, which ended up putting our family in a bad situation. He basically went to, went to jail for a little while. Once he got out, he went back to Nigeria for some time. While he was there in Nigeria, my mom passed away. When my mom passed away, basically it was, we were kind of in a single family home situation. Part of it was not by choice. Part of it was because of my dad's legal trouble and his current citizenship status at that time, it was just better for him to be in Nigeria rather than stay here in prison. So in jail anyway. That situation uh, basically left us kind of like a single family household. When she ended up passing away, that left us all devastated. And I'm not gonna talk about my siblings that much I'd rather have them tell their own side of the story. So yeah, that just put me in a situation where I felt really lost. I felt really alone. I felt really just completely devastated. Since I was in that situation, just kind of devastated, uh, you know, lost, in need of help. The people who really looked out for me, who took care of me were my parents' friends. Because they came from Nigeria without much family here, their friends really picked up the slack. And I can't say enough about uh, them, Ms. Adesanya, Mrs. Bello, Mr. Etu, Ms. Adeon Shun. There's so many of them that helped pick up the slack while my parents weren't around. And so that kind of put me in a bad spot because I was already growing up in a rough environment, a leaf, getting exposed to things and seeing things that required me to make tough choices. You know what I mean? Whether it's do drugs, join games, whatever, um, those choices uh, were put before me at a young age. And so uh, for me personally, it led to a lot of anger. And so I was quick to cuss people out. I was quick to get into arguments, quick to quit on people, all kinds of things like that. With that being said, that kind of led me to uh, this point of, of suicide, uh, suicidal, homicide. I, I really contemplated those those things it was tough because it wasn't like there's counselors walking around but the thing is the people who did act as counselors in my life were my aunt <coughs> Miss Adesina, um, and if you're Nigerian you know what that means everybody's your auntie that's just the way it is and not that she's just anybody <laughs> but anyway that's a whole nother thing the biggest question I had was when is it gonna end like when is the pain gonna end when's the suffering gonna end internal internal suffering and internal pain and so uh that was rough because the biggest thing at that age when you're 16 17 years old your parents are the ones who's buying you food buying you clothes giving you a roof over your head 
and I, I didn't have that at that time. But I'm grateful that it, it was almost like my parents were trying to prepare me for their deaths because they taught me how to cook, how to clean, you know, how to make money when I was really young, when I was eight, nine, ten, ten years old. And because they were kind of teaching those things and instilling those things, like my mom used to have all these little sayings. She used to say things like, um, you know, measure twice, cut once, just just all kinds of things. I could hear her voice right now. It's a, it's, it's usually a yelling voice, <laughs> you know, but uh, them teaching me things early helped to kind of motivate me towards doing uh, the best that I could. That's what I'm going to share right now um, because just time's sake, you don't want to hear 10,000 million minutes of me talking. And so, um, you know, thanks for checking this video out. Uh, I'm going to do some more on this series. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking me out. Please continue to like, share, tag a friend in this page um, uh, for YouTube. We appreciate it. All right. Be blessed. What you know about that real love? The type of love that's there just because. The type of love that's there regardless if you measure up. You go searching and you find it where it never was. I think that love you found will satisfy you, but it never does.